In St. George, Kevin Costner is establishing a cutting-edge film studio and putting down roots in the American Southwest. In southern Utah, the first two segments of Costner's upcoming movie Horizon were shot. Although the film's first segment won't be seen on a large screen until late June, its beneficial effects are already beginning to be seen in southern Utah discussed the good economic impact of this with the city of St. George. If you only consider the Horizon movie, he filmed two scenes in St. George. About 400 members of his staff were present. About 90 million was estimated to have been the economic impact, according to St. George resident and marketing and communication specialist David Cordero. Now consider this. During their brief stay, $90 million was invested in our economy. Cordero remarked, can you just picture them running a full-time studio down here? Not only did the city profit from Costner's location in southern Utah, but nearby fire and rescue departments were also engaged to provide support and standby services. In instance, my department spent roughly a week there. Ryan D'Ambrosio stated, we gave him medical standby, water rescue, consulting work, and other things like that. I am aware that a few local departments were acting in a similar manner. That provided food for several of our emergency services. Costner provided standby labor for crews from Santa Clara, Ivins, Hurricane, and Dameron Valley Fire and Rescue, enabling Dameron Valley to buy much-needed equipment. According to D'Ambrosio, that went toward buying a lot of our turnout gear, which, at the time, had expired. Given how much this has benefited his crew, Ryan hopes to see Costner return. Some of my staff members were hired off-duty to perform other tasks on set. Thus, it was a wonderful thing, and I know folks it impacted personally, D'Ambrosio added. I sincerely hope he makes more movies and comes back. For the third installment of Horizon, Costner is anticipated to return to southern Utah, and he is already assisting Utah Tech students enrolled in the digital film department. A small number of students were present on the shoot. Patrick Smith, director of Utah Tech's digital film program, remarked, It was such a transformative experience for them. They returned to the classroom with that experience, and it has informed our pedagogy. We have so already witnessed the effects of someone like that shooting here. Some of these students should be able to work at the new studio set, according to Smith. In this approach, rather of coming from New York or Los Angeles, more members of the film business are in southern Utah to assist in the development of a workforce. Our businesses in town are hiring our students consistently the moment they graduate because they actually need video work now, Smith stated. Additionally, they are working outside. Thus, yes, they are remaining, which is what we want in order to have a staff that is permanent here. Although the opening date of this new studio is unknown, preparations have already been made.